So does your Minecraft server look like this, where the chunks are limited, whenever you move you can't see everything. This is really annoying for taking pictures. And now with the Bobby mod installed, I have shaders. Whenever I fly around, I load up new chunks, but the old chunks, they stay there. With the Bobby mod, you can see right here, render distance 128. I think you can even go higher than this if you customize the settings. And with fabric, I have iris shaders on, so I can select all of these shaders and use them for screenshots. Not to mention, I can also use the zoom feature. I'm gonna teach you how to do this. All right, so first off, you're gonna be needing fabric. It's like Forge, but it's like the new mod loader. Fabric has a lot of cool mods that kind of replace Optifine. Plus, you can do a lot more like the replay mod. First, you'll need fabric. You can go to fabricmc.net. This is their website. Just press that download here. And here you can download for Windows or download Universal Jar. I'm using Windows, I just use this one. All right, so once we have this file here, it's an exe file, we'll open it up and then we'll have this thing popped up. And by the way, make sure you played this version of Minecraft that you want to install before installing this. So just download 1.20.2 and install in your Minecraft folder. Install, and it sort of does everything for you. This pops up, has been successfully installed and it says you also require Fabric API. You'll need a lot of mods, by the way. So go back to fabricmc.net and download this this API file right here, which links back to CurseForge. And you can have a bunch of files here. There are some beta versions here, like 1.20.3, but make sure you wanna get the same version 1.20.2. So let's get this version and download it. So next up, you wanna to go to your Minecraft folder. There should be a mods folder. If it doesn't exist, just, you know, right click new folder and just call it mods but i already have it the mods folder is basically where we're going to install all our mods so put the file that we just downloaded the api file all right then you want to open up your minecraft launcher and make sure you have installed it point 20.2 point that's the one we installed uh, make sure that's working correctly and i'm going to go to installations as well and i'm going to change some settings here as well so make sure you got the resolution correct and you got enough RAM over here. I allocated eight gigabytes. You just change this number here, but you just want to allocate some gigabytes of RAM. Don't put all of your RAM in there. And we're going to press play, understand the risk. We're just doing this just to make sure that fabric is installed. All right, so after a few minutes, it loaded and you can see right here, 1.20.2 fabric. So, you know, we definitely have fabric. Cool, now we'll quit the game. So now we know that fabric is installed. Now we need to get the Bobby mod. So let's search up Bobby mod and go to the one under mod rift. This site actually has a lot of fabric mods so go down here fabric 1.20.2 let's install that the cool it's right there and you want to go back into description here and you also need to download these two items it's mod menu uh, which is right here go to versions and make sure 1.20.2 all right let's download that and you want to go back into Bobby description go download the other item cloth so it goes to curse forge download 1.20.2 and make sure it's the fabric version of it, not the forge one, because we're using fabric. So go here, download that. Now we're gonna get our files that we just downloaded and put it into the mods folder, including Bobby as well. So now we have like four files here. All right, so let's load up fabric again. So now we have this mods option right here. So let's click on that. You'll see Bobby is installed, mod menu, all right. So let's go on our server and let's see if it works because we downloaded Bobby, right? What the heck? Bobby doesn't work, right? Well, the thing is you actually have to change some settings in Bobby first. Go to your Minecraft folder and you want to go to the config folder and you should see this bobby.config file. So we'll just go over here, go show more options and let's open it up. I'm going to just use a notepad for this. All right. So once you open up, you can see it's like a regular text file right here and you see a bunch of options here, but we want to change this max render distance. This is kind of what limits use as well. It also says it requires sodium. So we'll need that as well. All right. So I'm going to change this render distance here to 128. I don't know. It's just a number I came up with and make sure you save the file. Next up, you want to download sodium. So Minecraft sodium mod or whatever to our mod ref versions here for fabric 1.20.2. That's the version we're using. Download sodium. All right. So let's put Put sodium in the mods folder and while we're at it let's download some other mods so let's search up zoomify mod go to mod riff here 1.20.2 let's download that also search up the iris mod mod riff right here again versions 1.20.2 download that. All right, let's put Iris inside as well as a Zoomify mod. So Iris is shader, Zoomify is just zoom. Now Zoomify actually requires Kotlin and yet another conflict. Search up yet another conflict lib, go over here, go to versions, download the fabric version 1.20.2, download. Search up fabric Kotlin and let's go here. Versions 1.20.2, download this one. Put in Kotlin and yet another conflict in our mods folder. All right, so let's start up fabric loader. All right, so once it loaded, go here to mods make sure all of these are loaded let's go to a fox shot 
All right, so we're already loading our shaders. And um, let's go over here to options, video, and go to render distance. Now you can see this bar is a lot longer, so let's go all the way up. You don't have to go down to 128. You can put it something lower, um, whatever your computer can handle. So as you can see right here, we're loading in a lot of chunks here and those chunks are staying put. So you have a nice render distance. And if you want to enable the shaders, just go to escape options, video settings, and shader packs and this is where you can select all the shaders so you know bsl can try that and if you haven't installed shaders already you can go to open shader pack folder and install some shaders inside here and to use zoom press the c key we used to optifine zoom to uh, take some screenshots you know this is the default zoom maybe you don't really like how it works you know this weird transition so you can go to mods here and you can go to zoomify click on this and go to misc and you can click on optifine now this actually uses a preset for Optifine Zoom. So, you know, it looks like this now. It doesn't have that transition thing. So it's pretty much works exactly like Optifine. And um, yeah, hope you guys found this video helpful. Now you have the freedom to explore Minecraft servers without having a terrible render distance. Like you can see everything now. And it just depends on your computer. If you guys found this video helpful, hit the like button down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.